Hey there guys, how are you? Welcome back to another LEGO Lover 117 vlog. What am I doing with my hands here? I have no idea. Anyway, yeah, it's another vlog for your viewing eye holes. So this vlog is going to be a purpose one, I guess. Obviously we're not anywhere right now, we're not looking at anything. We're sitting in my room right now. And yeah, we're actually going to be watching something this time around. Now I was toying with different things to watch. Originally I was going to do the vlog on this movie right here, X-Men Days of Future Past, as a lead up to Apocalypse. Because at the time that this is being recorded Thursday, May 19th, Apocalypse hasn't come out yet. That comes out next week and me and my buddy are probably going to go see it Thursday night. And you might see a vlog come out of that. Maybe, I don't know. But then I said, hey, maybe I should do it on something I haven't seen yet so you all can get my fresh opinions on it. So I toyed with movies like Men in Black 2 or Blade. But then I said, you know what? I watch too many movies for my own good. So that's when I came to the conclusion. Lego lover, you don't watch enough TV. And I said, thank you, self. You are right. I don't watch and enough TV. I watch way too much Netflix, but I don't watch enough TV. So that's when I said, hey, there's this series called The Flash, and you like that series, Lego Lover. Why don't you watch the most recent episode called Invincible? So I said, sure, self, that's a great suggestion. I will do that. So that's what we're going to be watching, the most recent episode of The, the Flash known as Invincible. Now, when you all are seeing this, you'll probably be seeing this the Thursday of Apocalypse coming out. So, this episode's going to be old news by then. But hey, I thought I'd go ahead and watch it now to get geared up for the season finale, which is next. So anyway, let's go ahead and jump right on in and watch this week's episode of The Flash. So Deadpool, did you like the most recent episode of The Flash? Was it kind of sad? Well, that's Deadpool's opinion on the thing. Yeah, I got Deadpool pop theory. The original pop, because the new Deadpool pops look anorexic to me. Anyway, we just finished the episode, literally just finished the episode. And I was debating on whether or not to do this non-spoilers. I'm going to do spoilers. There's going to be spoilers for Flash Season 2 and Arrow Season 4. So if you haven't seen either of those seasons of those shows, stop watching now. You probably shouldn't have even clicked on this video. Overall, I thought the episode was very well done. I thought, you know, in terms of filming-wise and action-wise, it was pretty good. It had a great lead-in to the season finale episode which looks pretty good. I saw the trailer for the season finale after this episode was over and it looks interesting. Apparently Flash and Zoom are going to do a race with each other. That's didn't think they'd end it like that but hey that's what they're going to do. And hey we get Laurel back. If you don't already know like this is the spoiler section. Laurel's dead. Well Laurel on Earth 1 is dead. Uh, she died in Arrow Season 4. Her doppelganger from Earth 2, Black Siren, is now here. So, yeah, there's some um, addressing of that, which I, which I personally like, because I like when characters know 
certain situations have happened. Obviously, Barry knew because he was at Laurel's funeral. I like that everybody else knows and that they're acknowledging that she's actually dead. One negative I have with this episode is the climax. The climax consists of Barry and Earth 2 Dr. Wells creating this device that it's a bunch of scientific mumbo jumbo is what they say in the show, but it creates sound waves that vibrate at the frequency of Earth 2 because Earth 2 vibrates at a, at a, a different frequency than Earth 1 does. Yeah, basically Barry runs around the city and this and like encases the sound and this makes all the Earth 2 metahumans go unconscious or anyone from Earth 2 go unconscious. There really wasn't any sort of action. There wasn't a punch out or anything. It was just Barry run around the city while we watch the metahumans fall and then clean them up off screen. I really wasn't a fan of that. I can see people saying that, oh, that's a good thing because a lot of superhero TV show climaxes are just a big punch out between each other. And this one was actually different. I can see your reasoning behind that, but I really didn't like that. I really didn't like what they did with that. I thought the climax was actually pretty weak. I'm not really good at judging TV episodes just by themselves. I'm more, I'm better equipped at judging the entire season as a whole. I'm not gonna rate this episode. I just really liked it. I thought it was pretty good. So that's it for this vlog, guys. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more of these vlogs because these vlogs, they don't really get a lot of views, but you know, I like making them. It's just a way for me to express my uh, opinions on stuff to you guys, the fans, so you, you can get to know me on a bit of a personal level. Plus, I have a friend who pesters me constantly to do more of these vlogs. I won't say her name here, but she knows who she is. So friend, this is for you. So that's it for this vlog. Thank you for watching, and as always, may the Speed Force be with you.